Hey folks, thanks so much for coming. <clears throat> Oh. I can unmute myself now. Lord have mercy. Hey, it's five o'clock. It's the 20th of March. Thanks for joining us for Watch Me Work, where the me and the title is you. We Zoom with you uh, uh, every Monday, almost every Monday, because uh, we we are all about encouraging your creativity. And we've been doing this show for like, I don't know, 13, 14 years. It's been a while. Uh, we started out live in the lobby of the public theater. Uh, actually in a theater down the street from the public theater then we moved to the lobby of the public theater and now here we are here we are uh and look at all these beautiful faces so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do what we do every time we meet is we're going to work together for 20 minutes and then when the timer goes off we are going to do the dialogue part of the show which is, means we're going to create uh, we're going to talk with you about your creative process and your work okay so uh uh Lolly, if they want to get in touch and ask us about uh, their creative work and their creative process, how might they do that? Yeah, so if you're in the Zoom with us, you can click the raise your hand function, which is likely at the reactions tab in the reactions tab at the bottom of your screen. If you have any trouble finding it, you can just message me in the chat and I'll help you out. Or if you're watching live with us on HowlRound, you can send us your questions via the Public Theater's Twitter or Instagram account, or via the Watch Me Work Twitter account, which is at Watch Me Work SLP with the hashtag HowlRound. That's hashtag H-O-W-L-R-O-U-N-D. Fantastic. All right. Here we go. We're going to begin.
All right, all right. It's been 20 minutes. So now if you have questions about your work and your creative process, I will be happy to discuss. It looks like Kara has a question. You should be able to unmute yourself now. Oh, awesome. Uh, I'm really curious, especially just being a playwright in college um, and being a little bit new at this. How do you uh, deal with self-doubt and uh, how do you deal with self-doubt and insecurity as a writer? Yeah, that's a great question, Kara. So how long have you been writing any kind of anything? Not just plays, but. Oh, you're, you're, you're muted still, honey. There you go. Let me, I think I need to ask you to unmute yourself again here. Feel free to just leave it unmuted. <laughs> I'll unmute it while yeah, while we're talking. Great. So how long, how long are you, have you been at it? I'm, I've been at it for four years. I started at the beginning of college. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And plays mostly or all kinds of things? Yeah, mostly plays. I just started getting into screenwriting this year, uh -huh. but yeah, mostly plays. Uh huh. Uh huh. That's a great question, though. How do we deal with like those moments when we go, "Gee, should I really be doing this?" or "Or what am I doing?" or um, things like that? Right? Is that those are the kinds of things you're talking about? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think it's a great question because it always happens, and I think that no matter how much work you do one might always have those kinds of like, gee, is this the right thing I should be doing? You know, um, I think uh, just keep working is the best solution for that, you know? Just the, the best sort of antidote for doubt is just lean forward, you know what I mean? It's like, should I even be here? Lean into it, you know, because um, the answer is, with this kind of thing, the answer is whatever you say. Hmm yeah the answer is so if you say should I be a writer if you say if you say yes then go ahead do it you know I don't think I'll ever be able to finish that play some people say well you're probably right you know um, you're, you're you're an amazing hypnotist I mean we all are we hypnotize ourselves all the time I've spoken about this before but the words that go come out of your mouth and go into your ears amazing right and your self-talk is so uh, determined so much about how you feel about yourself and all those kinds of things. And it's so important to feel good enough to just keep going. So if, you, if you're feeling uncertain and all that, um, it's helpful to get a schedule together, you know, like pick a time during the day when you're going to meet up with your writing self and do some work, you know, get a regular schedule. It's like, if you want to, run a, a marathon right and say you've never run a marathon before you don't want to sit there on the sidewalk going should i be doing this should i be doing this should i be doing this well you know right you want to put on your sneakers and get a schedule and maybe every morning you're going to whatever do a little bit of training that's appropriate for your level you know and i found that picking a schedule showing up every day maybe around the same time every day whether you're a morning person or a night person or you love to work in the afternoon and just putting the time in and watch it accumulate. You know, does that help? Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, okay. it really helps. Thank you. Ben, you should be able to unmute now. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Um, wanted to report out. So uh, SLP, you gave me the assignment of writing for one hour a day and to get rid of my distractions, yes. uh, even turning off my internet. Oh, um, I'm still, oh, no, 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 I haven't done it. I'm still growing in that direction. <laughs> oh, bless your heart. Oh, okay. The, talk, talk to me the about steps, it. The steps that I have taken um, have been establishing that one hour um, where I'm working to write. Uh, I'm not always able to commit to it, but it's on the calendar. 
But I do, I am always able to commit to my Friday because I have a writing partner and we meet on Zoom similarly to what we're doing now to just kind of serve as proxies for each other. Um, So I am developing to be able to, you know, make sure I do right by this grant. And I've established another team of accountability to do biweekly check-ins to share developments as well. So I can like make sure I don't, you know, go to jail for taking these people's money and not doing right by them. Um, I did <laughs> want to see if I could share a piece that I wrote. I don't know if that's something that can be offered. That's that's the that's one of the things we don't do. We don't have time we don't, in the we don't in have the, time the okay to to read from each other's work. We um we just offer encouragement and answer some okay crap perfect. Questions. But thank you. But, but you know what? You wrote something. You wrote something that you feel like sharing, right? And while we don't share work in this in this format, we do applaud you for writing something that you feel like sharing, which is really great. Man. Thank that's you. Huge. That's huge. Now, can you can you take a few more steps in that direction? Yes, I am working with my therapist on procrastination. I am learning how that is different from laziness. I'm doing the things like wow. I'm in the direction of it. Wow. Uh, but huge, it's just, yes, yeah, a lot bigger than uh, just putting on the calendar. I'm learning all of my triggers and things like that. But I, but I am growing and I, I'm able to see the progress, even though the needle's not going as far as I wanted to, it's still going forward. And I'm, I'm like, I feel good about myself. So that's, I wanted to share that. That is great. Congratulations. <laughs> We're so proud Thank you. of you. Thank We're you. We're so proud of you. Great work, brother. Really great. Hey, Lou, you should be able to unmute yourself. Hi. Hi, everyone. Hi, SLP. Hi. Thank you. Hi. Um, not to change the air, but I've had a rough entry into this year. I, I'm going to share with the group. I lost my dad in January. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, thanks. I'm sharing it in relationship to my process because it just completely knocked me on my ass just in terms of, um, yeah, just finding the bandwidth in my own imagination. <laughs> so, and I'm, I'm really good at um, piling on myself. And in this case, it's been, I think, a real lesson in like, yeah, productivity mm-hmm. may not be mm-hmm. the desired <laughs> outcome, you know? Um, anyway, so just contextualize it for the space. Like it's, it's just knocked me on my ass. Um, and uh, so I'm trying to find my way back. And I'm working on a project that's, you know, a memoir based and it's about my story and I'm having the weirdest experience, which is I feel like a different person (laughs) approaching the work with this loss. Like I'm reading it and it's like, I'm feeling like, whoa, I would say this differently. Like, oh, so both my parents are gone. Now, not that the book is about them. It's actually really not at all. It's about me, but just... I've like it's it's when I say it's not me I'm at like it's put me in um a different uh, relationship to my own life mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so I guess I'm trying to figure out and then I think I might be bullshitting myself because I'm like if I just wait till I'm evolved enough to write this story like and it's all like done and I can just write it like I'll probably be dead <laughs> you know myself because it's like oh I got I got the punchline now I can write the book Uh so it's like I sort of have to I think I'm bullshitting like I'm not bullshitting myself grief is grief and it's been hard but I think as I'm trying to find my way in it's like I'm like oh that's not doesn't sound right so I better go all the way back to the beginning and kind of Mm -hmm. move through it again so I guess my question is just how do you know maybe it's really just about like how knowing to move through something if it doesn't feel fresh anymore or is it enough that it just was right once or like what do I do <laughs> mm-hmm. well what, so what, what we know about you I mean because you've been coming to this for a while now you know you're hard working you really apply yourself you know you weren't you meeting with a a publisher or something a little while ago it was a big milestone you yeah know, so- with yeah no, remind me because I, I I I forgot. Sorry. Oh, uh, that's okay. Yeah, I'm with my um I'm working with my agent mm-hmm. who is going to be sending me out on submission and uh-huh. is very encouraging and uh-huh. we're meeting deadlines and I actually 
owed her something in January and obviously she's like a human being so she's like okay so this is actually an evolution of that and I'm like right. having a little bit of a crisis of faith in the whole mm -hmm. thing right now mm -hmm. I mean do you think it would help to just do a little bit of something that you can I mean I don't want to force mm -hmm. it but do you have the do you have the time I do have the time you know oh, okay that's good that's good um maybe it would help just to spend some time with it like you know spend 20 minute segments a day you know not all not like four hours you know but maybe mm -hmm. often you know i mean depending on what kind of time you have visit mm -hmm. it you know visit mm -hmm. it and see how it's doing you know um, and do whatever you want you can read it you can write a little bit more on it. You can edit it. You can just sit and hold it, print it out and hold it in your lap, you know, whatever. Just mm. spend, but spend time with it. Get maybe reacquainted um, with this. Allow it to become reacquainted with this new version of you. Mm. You know, and see Thank and just, and, but be consistent. That's the thing, you know, because I think um, you, you've gone from like, I can't do anything with it. That's okay. And now, well, maybe I'd like to do something, but I don't know what. Just do anything with it, you know. Mm -hmm. Reacquaint yeah, myself reacquaint. with it. Yeah, and spend small little increments, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, show up for it. You know, maybe, maybe, you know, four different sessions a day. Yeah, instead of, because I am trying to do like, one bit you know and then i'm failing yeah. at the one big right, thing right. and then it's and then yeah. i spin out and it's yeah. a bummer so maybe four different sessions and not in mm. the same place one se session one is at your regular workstation you mm -hmm. know session two could be at a coffee shop session three could be sitting on your couch mm -hmm. you know what i mean session four could be you're going to read aloud to your spouse you know i think you know you, you i remember you guys have a good relationship you know it's kind of mm -hmm. like you're going to read aloud or, or just or talk about it to your spouse for 20 minutes timer goes yeah. off. great you did four sessions today different they're all different yeah you know and it'll allow it to see if it can gather some momentum um that way and come back to you if you're just but it'll, it'll know oh lou's showing up for me okay i can kind of mm. take a step forward you know it's so cool to think about it like that it's sentient <laughs> It has a response to my attention to it. I love that so much, SLP. Of course it does, doesn't it? Don't you think? Mm. Yeah, I do think that, yeah. When you said that, it, I could hear it. It's like, yeah, come around. We'll figure it out. Right, it but I've been so, so like preoccupied, you know, right. it's been really hard. Right. Yeah, I hear you. Um, again, mm -hmm. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. Thank yeah. you very much. Mm -hmm. All right. This is very helpful. Thank you, SLP. Okay, thanks for the great question. Thanks. Thank, Thank you. you. Louise, you should be able to unmute now. Hello. Hey, Louise. Uh, how you doing? Fine, thank you. How you doing? Good, 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 good. This is more of a comment mm -hmm. because there are um, several different projects that I'm working on. Mm -hmm. But what I've been doing is, um, as I go about my day, mm -hmm. I have to have a notebook to do this because people will say different things. And if I don't write it down, by the time I get home, I forget. Um, but these things that people say, it's not like, okay, Mary Jones or David Owens says one particular thing, I pick up on the thread and it's really, Fascinating because I feel that 
just taking a one statement you can build a whole story around. And I feel personally very inspired. Mm-hmm. And so, but I, I take, like I said, take the time, carry the note cards to write it down. And there are two things. There was one woman, oh, she was, uh, this happened months ago. She was, I don't know whether she's having a, uh, a meltdown or whatever, but she made this statement. She said, I never wanted a son. And she kept saying that over and over and over again. So I wrote that down and, you know, kind of, again, you know, you could build a story, a play, a screenplay around what would lead a person to utter that kind of remark. Mm -hmm. Just recently, and it's actually more humorous, um, I was out and about and I, there were these two guys that were kind of winos and one says to the other, yeah, man, um, they need to bring back communism. They need to bring back communism because with communism, at least everything would be equal. We would all get the same kind of thing. And I just thought it was just, I mean, I could have stood there for five or 10 minutes and, you know, just like writing, 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 but I find it personally inspiring, inspiring in terms of my own work. Mm -hmm. But I kind of, I have a a, a friend of mine who, well, she's in the spirit world, but she was a writer and she taught at um, Brooklyn College, but she would always tell her students that, you know, like, keep your ears open. Mm -hmm. It's just, and again, not to get into anybody's business per se, mm-hmm. but just they're just like pearls of wisdom mm-hmm. that you know can roll off anybody's tongue at any time. And I, like I said, I personally feel inspired, and it helps me in terms of my own work. Mm-hmm. That's cool, Louise. I love also how you write those things down. You know, you're not just wandering through the world going, wow, that's a cool thing that somebody just said, but you're carrying around your notebook and writing these things down so that you can, um, you know, harvest these seeds or at least plant them. Harvest, harvest. That's, yeah, that's a good word. You know, you know, yeah, because that's what it is. Ground. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. It's, yeah. It's a, that's really beautiful. And yeah, who knows what, um, what they, what beautiful things they might grow into. Definitely. I love that. Hi, Rebecca. You should be able to unmute now. Hey, Susan Laurie. Hey, Rebecca. How are you? I'm I'm pretty good. How are you? Good, good. How's it going? Um, it's it's been an interesting um couple weeks. Mm-hmm. Uh, so after you know three years, I finally got COVID, and that took a couple weeks. Um, which was really interesting. I mean, I, w- I didn't have a bad case and it was really yeah. kind of, it was it, really interesting to engage with, you know, a new organism in that way. <laughs> um, That's great. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I had, um, so this is a business of writing kind mm-hmm. of mm-hmm. question comment. I, I had a website that was focused on on the way I earn income, which is my consulting work. And and writing was sort of in there, but not the for not the front page. It was mm-hmm. and um and I've been so I realized I couldn't really 
do any more pitches to agents because there's no website for them to see. <laughs> um, okay. And there's, because I, I put a, I put a splash page over it. I knew I wanted to redo it. So, so I've been, I've been doing that. And this is the first time I've been willing to actually put the, the book kind of in a more public way. Uh -huh. And, and, and it's just kind of hints, like there's a map of Tipton County and there's, uh -huh. you know, points, a 1935 map of Tipton County that points towards the bridge and, um, and the actual title, <laughs> full title of the manuscript. And I, I don't know how to, and, I, and I've looked at other people's pages and stuff. I, I don't know how to kind of support the curiosity in the content. I'm trying to avoid putting in too much content. Like there's, mm -hmm. no, there's, there's a picture. So there's the map. There's the picture of, you know, the prison inmates from Nashville in 1912. There's, mm -hmm. So there's these hints at what might be going on. Mm -hmm. And I, so I'm, you know, I, I looked at your website and clearly you don't have to do a whole lot <laughs> um, because you have so much, so many things that are happening all at once at this point. Um, and, you know, I have, I also have a separate section, separate from the, the book uh, for my medium stuff writing. So I, I don't know if there's any examples of sort of interesting ways to use the, the web for um, almost pre-promotion for enticing mm -hmm. interest. Obviously, I, you know, there's, there's my, you know, queries, there's agent queries, mm -hmm. but they all want a website. They all say, send me your website. So I don't mm -hmm. know if you have any ideas or. You know, how, again, Rebecca, how much would you need to show or how, uh, what, yeah. what is the, what is the, uh, how, how, because I, I remember if I'm not mistaken, you were talking about how to, do a, a query letter and how much and they wanted a, a certain they didn't want us more than x number of pages and the and they had to be in the email and that kind of thing Did we yeah yeah so i i found a couple agents who are like so some some agents say send your first th three chapters mm -hmm. and and other agents say send a whole book proposal which mm -hmm. is like how I'm going to market it, you know? So it's like, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, but I found a couple of agents where it's like, just send us, you know, send us a hundred pages, okay. hundred of your best pages, which is much better for me. I, I feel like, um, great. and that's great. So, so, so you, okay. So I'm sorry. Did I cut you off? Right. No, go ahead. No, no. So, so if we're going with the, the agents that say send, send, us uh, so hundred of your best pages, great. So that's doable. Mm -hmm. And then maybe the, the but they still want a website, right? You yes. Still want your presence on the website. So in film um, and TV, what we do a lot and and uh, is is create these like sizzle reels. You know, have you ever heard of that? Mm -hmm. Books like a lookbook. Mm -hmm. You can really create a lookbook for your book, a look a lookbook for your book, meaning. It could have, you could have a website with like photographs, you know, you say you have photograph maps, photographs, and each, you know, each image, very beautiful image would have some part of the, the sort of short terse um, blurb about the, the book. See mm -hmm. what I mean? Your blurb is like 10 sentences, right? You get you blur, you, blur, you work up a blurb of ten sentences and then find ten images that are really going to make you know. So then you you know you click and you have one of those you know you set it up so that you 
You read the first sentence, click. Read the next one, click. You know, 10 sentences later, you've got sort of the gist of the whole story. You've got the visitor to the website wanting to read more. You've got the 100 pages already to send, you know? You yeah. Know, like entice, whet their appetite a little bit. So that sounds great. Yeah. The, so I'm trying to... So in terms of, I have two things going on in my head. Mm -hmm. Right now, both, while it, it takes kind of center stage on my site, I have it as a pay, you know, as a sub menu in mm -hmm. my consulting site. So that's make, but I did buy, I did buy all the possible names. Great, well, I could <laughs> uh, start, I have a new website. Don't, don't, okay. I, don't, I wouldn't mix it with your other business. I would just it. have a website dedicated to this mm -hmm. and, and, you know, you know, even seven really amazing images. If you can find how many ever Im images you can find, like seven or 10, that's pretty much enough. And then get a, write a blurb mm -hmm. and then just click, click. So would they have, you know, we have like seven images and you're like, wow. Oh, huh. Mm -hmm. And you're just telling a story in seven sentences, mm -hmm. you know? Um, and, and you entice the, the, the possible readers that way. That's really helpful. And it'll make my web development guy so happy because he's really go. tired of me. <laughs> well, I mean, it, they can start, They can, I think, yeah, just get yourself the new, you've got the names, you've got the domain names, get yourself a yeah. new, a, a whole new website. So it'll be just dedicated to that. You to know? Book. Yeah. Yeah. And you can link your consulting business to that website, but don't link it the other way around. Right. No, yeah. they can point to it yeah yeah point to it that's it mm -hmm. yeah oh thank you thank You're you welcome. so much <laughs> oh just one other thing i heard you on the radio the other day oh on, for or all of it yeah yeah yeah. on all of it it was very encouraging for me to hear that things can take a really long time <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> to finish. oh yeah things yeah. Do, you know some things take a while yeah. Thanks for listening. Hi, Cherie. I think you should be able to unmute yourself now. Yes. Hello. Hey, Cherie. Hey, happy to be here. Hi, everyone. Um, so I have a question uh, geared specifically toward the editing process. Do you have any consistent like personal either rules or criteria or habits that you use like once you've finished writing and you're going back and you're editing and you're evaluating your work. Is there anything that you've learned um, in maybe even just for your work, maybe not even a general rule, but something that you've noticed of like your habits of writing where you look back and you ask yourself questions about your work and you kind of use that to edit your pieces like if you have an entire play are you asking yourself questions like okay which character could i you know do i hate which character or do i um find boring or what part do i love the most which part like any of those questions or habits or like anything you notice that you like over time been like i must ask myself these questions mm -hmm. because it'll help me really quickly decide how i'm going to edit this piece mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think uh, uh, yes and no, more of a no. I don't have a formula. Right. The formula is read it and see what you think. <laughs> That's yeah. the formula. But there's no like, always ask yourself, you know, mm -hmm. what time was it when the person took their, had their last meal? You know, I don't know. You know, nothing like, nothing like that. You just, you read it and you, you show up for it. You read it and you go, where's my, where am I interested? Where am I not? Is it? In putting up that work, has there been any consistent feedback from the people? And I, I don't know how this works, but people reading your work, is there anything that you notice in terms of like, I don't know if they make you, they ever make you change stuff when you're putting up show or you're, you have like editors or something like that? Is there mm -hmm. anything consistent in terms of feedback that you hear or you remember? Um, no, no. It, it, again, it's all specific to the work. So, and Cherie, I mean, I've, you know, those of us who have been writing for a long time, you know, and making work for a long time, the, the, the comments and the feedback and the notes, you know, are as varied as the work, you know, you know what I mean? So, so somebody, somebody might say, um, 
for example, just generally, uh, once I have people say, I wish it were longer. Another person, another show I have, people say, wow, it's a little too long. Could you cut a little bit? You know, it, it really varies. Um, but the best thing that the, the writer can do when she's looking at the work or evaluating the work is you can say, where am I interested? Where am I not? Where do I kind of get a little bored? A lot bored. Where am I going? Ah, yeah, hurry up. You know, when you're reading your own work, these are good things. Does, you can ask yourself, does this make sense? Do I understand this? You know, um, because you want, you at least want to understand what you're writing, you know, um, base, just basic questions. There's no, there's no formula other than write it and then read it to yourself, preferably out loud. That's helpful. Yeah. yeah. Um, and just see, uh, see where it's enjoyable to you, see where it's not as enjoyable. And the places where it's not as enjoyable or you don't understand, you have a question, just circle it and keep going. Keep reading. Circle the page. Circle it. I mean, I usually print it out, you know. That's kind yeah. of a fun thing after you've written it on a on a computer, you know, on a screen. You know, you print it out, sit there, read it. And every time you don't understand something, just circle it and keep going. Um, and then you can go back and go, why was this boring? Why was this not as funny as I'd hoped? Why was this you know, more confusing than I would like. You just start asking yourself questions. Um, yeah. Does that does that make sense? Yeah. 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 Okay. Because you have to be specific to the work. Just like when you you meet somebody, a friend or a, 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 a dating partner, you have to be specific to who they are. Unless you've got some kind of game plan, you know. I, I mentioned this, I mentioned this, I mentioned this to them, and then I say that. You know, I mean, that's cookie cutter. I, I um I only do cookie cutter when I'm making cookies. Mmm, <laughs> cookies! No. But yeah, right? I mean, right? And not even yeah. then, really, really. I'm right, I was about to say, actually, not even, not even on the cookies. You not just throw it on the sheet and whatever that's shape right. it comes out with. That's, that's, that's right. Okay, cool. <laughs> Thank you, that's a good question. Thank you. Thanks, Sheree. Um, we have time for one more question because we have a few more minutes. So, Virginia. Hey, Virginia. Hi. Um, I have a couple of things. First of all, um, I wanted to say thank you because in 2020, uh, during this the pandemic, um, I did get an email from the public theater about this um, Watch Me Work, and I joined in and um, from the free writes that we did. And I was also doing a playwriting lab, kind of merged these two things together. These, for some reason, I have no idea how this happened, but these two thoughts in separate places came together. And I ended up writing a, um, doing a short film, my first short film, a 31 a short film that I filmed during the pandemic. It was a crazy event, but it really happened. It took three and a half weeks from the time I talked to SAG to do the COVID information and all of that and four days of taping. And um, so thank you. That was very in, in, in encouraging, inspiring by listening to all the um, information you were sharing with everybody when they asked the question. It was always like light bulbs going off like, oh my God, that's great. Oh, that's a great idea. And I'm not, not haven't generally been a writer. I went back to school in 2017 and took a playwriting lab and so that's how I kind of got into playwriting because I never thought that I was a writer and now that knowing how much I really enjoy it however this is my second thing so first of all thank you for that that just that was just just meant the world to me that I was able to do something um that on that big of a scale um and including my friends and giving everybody work and all of that. So great. Um, yes, it was really great. So thank you. And that, so right now I'm working on a, a one person show. All right. Cool. So, and it's personal. It's my a personal about my life. Mm -hmm. And um, so I've been going along writing. It was going very well. And now I'm getting to a place where I'm kind of stuck. And I think for several reasons, because it's about my family. Mm -hmm me and my family sharing, knowing where to share, where not to share. And I thought about today, maybe if I change their names or some kind of synonym of their name or some kind of idea, nickname, something that would open me up because I'm really feeling like I can't, I'm kind of stuck right now. 
I have a couple of things that kind of just kind of came up in the writing. And one is seen and not heard, because, you know, we grow up and we're seen and not heard. And that is in, um, developed into what it has done in my life personally. And another thing is because I shift so many times, like a cat having nine lives. <laughs> so, yeah. So right now I'm up to number three, but I'm so kind of stuck now. And I'm like, I don't, I, I can't shake how to get out of this mm -hmm. I, I love that, your idea your idea already that you can uh, change their names or do something like that to sort of remind yourself that you are you are while you're telling a personal story uh, 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 perhaps a, a family story you're also using your imagination you know it's, okay. it's not a it's not a you know you know historical document you know it's, it's no it's, it's not, not. <laughs> it's the work of your imagination it's funny so. and yeah yeah, so you can you can remind yourself of that, and and using different names could help you with that, and also, like very different situation, but like we we're suggesting for for Lou, you you can have a couple of times a day where you sit with the with the work, where you mm -hmm. hang out with the work, where you might write on the work, where you might reread the work, where you just you just kind of cozy up to the work, and remind the work that you're on its side, you're hoping for the best for the work, you're you know its champion. Um, okay. To allow it to, it's like it's like a, you know it's, it feels like it's a it's a, a feral cat you know kind of a wild cat that you bring in the house it's great and it hides under the bed you know yeah you've got to yeah. you've got to do the work to encourage the, the little creature to uh, come out and trust you and if if it's a family story it's a, it's a lot you're asking of the work yeah um, yeah you got to you got to create you know firm up that bridge of trust you know. Yeah, I think that's the that's the hard part is the trust. So I have another session. I just wanted to make oh, sure. Me I had, too. No, me yeah. too. Um, <laughs> it was this, it's the trust part that um yeah. yeah, and 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 I think not wanting to offend my family in a way. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, I'm trying to make it, yeah, not okay. as personal and not so personal. Um, but I have to I feel like I have to say what's inside of me first mm -hmm. before mm -hmm. I kind of edit. Mm -hmm myself okay. i'm not really sure but that's my sign <laughs> so also i really enjoyed um the harder they come it was okay. really great jeanette bardell told me that you were doing this again yes. and i was like yes because i really yes. felt like i needed yes, it yes. So, oh it's a joyous it's a joyous show and i tell you really the, the community specifically the jamaican community has told us that we have we have made a beautiful and perfect thing. So Fantastic. Oh, yeah, I saw the first you. preview. Oh, so I'm going to go okay. again. Well, we've grown a lot. We've grown. I'm going to go again. Go yeah. Go. Thank you. Thank yes, you. you're welcome. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so you. much. It's six o'clock. It's 6.01. It is. <laughs> all right. Um, we will see you all later. We're going to be back here same time next week. That's so right. hope That's to right. see you then. <laughs> Lots of love. See you then. Bye. Thanks, everybody.